This vent is well reinforced. There's no way to enter my castle through the ventilation system. I filled it with deadly traps. Also, it's full of those giant pesky rats. This is the trash of my castle. I realize now that I produce too much waste for a single demon. I don't remember throwing this at the dumpster. An iron rod. And an almost eaten biology book. Mr. Buttons will have to give me a good explanation about this. Oh, don't be silly. It's not harvesting season yet. Those mushrooms are still green. I'd rather not. I'm allergic to this kind of cheap alloy. It's too heavy for me to move it. It's a huge treasure chest. I wonder what is inside. The cabinet was depleted for redecoration. Oh, wait a minute. They forgot this bottle of... 25-year-old whiskey. Interesting. I cast a gypsy curse on it a few nights ago. The next person who lifts it will turn into a hideous pig. I already checked that. There's no strong box behind that painting and no, I don't want to steal this horrible painting. Good evening, Mrs. Johnson. Good evening, Sid. May I talk with the mayor? Do you have an appointment? Mmm, yep. Oh, really? Let me check that in the mayor's agenda. No, you haven't. You know, Sid, today was a really long day. Why don't you go play your pranks on someone else? My pranks? My pranks? Please don't insult me, woman. I don't play pranks. I do evil deeds of demonic proportions. Oh, I didn't mean to insult you, honey. But could you go to do your things outside? I heard that Mr. Martinez got a brand new doorbell. I hope no one goes to play Ding Dong Ditch at him. Ding Dong Ditch? Are you suggesting that I use my evil genius to play that childish game? What is that big chest doing inside the mayor's house? It's from the three strangers that arrived in town today. They are called the Ramiro brothers. I hear they are demon hunters. If I were you, I would be hiding until they go. What is the mayor doing? He is talking with one of the Ramiro brothers. A woman. I think her name was Foxy. What a name. And why do they call themselves the Ramiro brothers if there is a woman in the group? It should be the Ramiro siblings. I don't know. Maybe it's a marketing thing? I don't know. Maybe. I dare you to lift that big trophy over there. I will not lift that. Why? You cast a gypsy curse on it. What? How do you know? I was here the night you did it. Don't you remember? You even asked me for a black candle and four pistachios. Oh. Yeah, I recall now. By the way, uh, do you have any more useful items to lend me? Like a lockpick, a pair of scissors, or a sniper rifle? No. And go do your stuff somewhere else. Good night, Mrs. Johnson. We'll talk later. Good night, my dear. The door is locked. Definitely not the kind of painting that I would add to my collection. These are some pretty interesting evil concepts over there, but I don't feel like reading them again. I'm not touching that. 
I put a trap on that bench. It's a statue of the founder of the town. I made an artistic intervention on it. He looks much cooler now. I can't reach it. What are you doing awake at this time of night, little fellow? I see. You have a night owl complex. Hello! I'm Sid, the demon of Darkestville. Different bad suckers not drunk enough to know who you are, Sid. I've known you since you were five. Remember that time when you were chasing the town kids with your little flamethrower, and you ended up crying because it ran out of fuel? Yeah, but someone gave me his alcohol so I could have fun with my flamethrower again. Oh, well, that's something any decent person would have done. You were so small and you looked so sad. Hey, you remember that time when you were zapping people with a big blue laser gun? Everyone was running so scared. I remember it as if it were yesterday. In fact, it was yesterday. Really? Some things never change. What are you drinking? Oh, this. It's glue solid. It may not be as good as an old red wine, but it's not that bad. What does it taste like? Awful. But it's still better than water. Are you still turning into a giant purple monster every time you sneeze? Nope. Luckily, the side effects of that thing you gave me to drink faded away. But hey, if you have any more of those flasks, just keep sending them over. That thing was delicious. Did you see anything unusual tonight? I don't recall anything unusual. But maybe a drink will refresh my memory. Look, look, look. Nope, it did not. And now I see everything in black and white. Goodbye. Goodbye, champ. Wow, this is one of the finest 25-year-old whiskeys ever made. My glue solvin tasted like poison in comparison to this. Thanks. Presto! That glue solvent works really quickly. I thought I had my homemade medicine inside. Now that I think about it, that's probably what glued the cabinet door on in the first place. Things made with evil goo are so hard to manage. All the anecdotes that contain, and then I went for the sleeping pills, are good ones. Extra soft, silk textured, mint scented toilet paper. Mm, nothing there looks useful. It is the very definition of garbage. I would like to. Shh! I'm thinking! Hello? So you are one of the Romero brothers? Yes, I'm Walrus, the muscle of the Romero brothers. And your name is Dan Teapot, right? Oh, it was a pleasure to work for you, sir. You don't find many customers that pay full in advance by mail these days. Where's the rest of the team? I'm not sure. I think Foxy is talking with the mayor. And Mongoose must be training somewhere. That lad never rests. So, it must be great to be a demon hunter. Oh, yes. You meet a lot of people, do exercise, fight evil, travel the world, and taste new drinks. It's great! Ha <laughs> ha! Where is that demon you recently captured? We put all the demons we catch inside our demon chest. There they are imprisoned forever in some kind of an alternate dimension or something. I don't get much of that technical stuff. But don't worry. He cannot escape. 
What if he has some kind of super genius and handsome friend outside trying to help him out? Oh, don't worry. Our sister Foxy already thought about that. The chest requires three keys to open, and each of us only has one key. So it's impossible to open the demon chest without our authorization. Unless... Unless... Unless, of course, someone stole each of our keys. But, then again, we are the best demon hunters. No one would ever dare to try that. Except... Except... Except some kind of idiotic moron with absolutely zero conscience about the consequences of his actions. But, then again, we shouldn't worry about that. If there is such an idiot, we will crush him. Yeah, we, uh, don't have to worry about that. How did you recognize me? Because I'm totally Dan Teapot. It was easy to figure it out. In your letter, you wrote that you'd be waiting for us outside the castle to help secure the target. Between you and me, I think that putting the demon inside a fish tank was kind of too much. It made everything too easy for us. Goodbye. I have other matters to attend to. It was a pleasure to talk with you, sir. It reads, Choose from our varied menu, all at the same price. Caramelized duck with bacon, bacon with caramelized duck, duck with caramelized bacon, duck with bacon all caramelized with a pinch of pepper, and if you're against the natural order of the world, don't forget to taste our vegetarian option. Hello? My na- Shut up! We're playing! Hello. Hi. So, how's the business going? It certainly is not going good, thanks to Dennis and demons like you. Yeah, I'll pay you, but thanks. I appreciate you mistrusting me. How much do I owe you? It's two silver coins for the pint of beer, 200 gold coins for the six barrels of ethanol. And don't worry about the matches. They were on the house. Do you accept evil card? You know how this works, Sid. Cash only. I don't have the money with me right now. You don't have any more credit here until you pay me. And it would be better for your health if you did it soon. Do you know anything about that stranger over there? You know my policy. I don't like gossip. I don't make questions. As long as you're my customer, I don't care what you do or who you are. I'd better go and get some fresh air outside. See you soon. I think the tavern keeper will not mind if I take some of them. I know the expression, one man's trash is another man's treasure, but this time, it is definitely just trash. The darts are heavily attached to the board, and I cannot remove them. That explains why no one has played with this thing for years. Hi! Who goes there? Let me introduce myself. I'm Sid, a fine citizen of Darkestville. Nice to meet you, sir. I'm Martin Hawkeye from West Spring. So, you're a local, right? Yes. Well, then let me congratulate you. Darkestville is a lovely place. Really? Yeah. The air's so fresh and the climate is perfect. I guess you're right. That reminds me. I have to keep working on that weather machine. What is your business in Darkestville? I came here to explore the natural wonders of this lovely town. I'm on vacation. A tourist in Darkestville. Well, that's something new. We don't have many attractions, you know. I don't care about that. As long as the people are friendly and the drinks are cheap, I'm good to go. The good thing about being a blind tourist is that you don't even have to worry about the view when choosing a room. I never thought about the benefits of being blind. Hmm. Mental note. Return the sight of little Timothy. I notice you haven't touched your drink. Yeah, this mojito is kind of lame. The mint they used is really old. 
It's almost tasteless. If you're not going to drink it, may I have it? Nah, I'm gonna drink it. Eventually. Besides, even if the drink isn't good, at least I look cool with a drink in my hand, right? No, but then again, you are too blind to notice it. <laughs> you got me there. May I have your drink? No. What are you doing on the street at this time of the night? I went outside the tavern for some fresh air. Why do you ask? Are the streets of Darkestville dangerous? Mm, no, not really. Sadly, the giant mutant chickens are gone. But probably next week, the streets will be dangerous again. There's a shipment of winged tigers on the way. Thanks for the advice. Where are you staying? At the tavern guest room. But the tavern doesn't have any guest rooms. In fact, there are no hotels in Darkestville. Maybe it's something new. It was a really small room, but at least it was clean. Were you passing by the tavern kitchen? Yes. That is the cleaning cupboard. That would explain the bleachy smell. I can't complain. The price was really low, and it included breakfast. I have other matters to attend to. See you soon! That's Ruffo, the guard dog. He seems to be sleeping, but as soon as any stranger walks past his house, he attacks. Sadly, I fall in the stranger category. Who's a good boy, Ruffo? Who's a good boy? I know that having a hook instead of a hand would look great on me, but I will pass this time. That darn dog is guarding his neighborhood. If I walk past his house, he will bite me. Or shoot me. That doesn't need peanuts. What is it? It's our special Darkestville Mint. Just smell the minty scent. Cool. That'll surely enhance my mojito. Let me try it. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, now it's much better. Mm. That was a pretty good taste. And the texture was good, too. It was extra soft. Premium quality. Only the best of the best. Thanks. May I return the glass to the tavern for you? Yeah, sure. Why not? Thank you again. Better off trying to fill this with good intentions. I have more important matters to attend to. I don't have time to just stare at mud, but somehow I find it relaxing. Stones are hard to carry around. I'd rather not do that. Your name will always be remembered. Tall guy who used to cough a lot at the tavern. Remember me as the non-bald great man I was. Gonzo Smith. Doctor, lawyer, adventurer, good husband, dragon slayer, and king of the East Kingdom. The Compulsive Liar support group will not be the same without you. Ha! Hello! 
Who goes there? Oh, it is you. Dan Teapot, right? Yeah, yeah, you are totally right. I'm him. I mean, it's me, Dan. And you are? I'm Mongoose Romero, the lightning of the Romero brothers. How did you recognize me? Because I'm totally Dan Teapot. Well, you told us you'd be wearing a distinctive hat. Ah, oh, yes, of course, my hat. In my opinion, it would have been easier to recognize you if we knew that you're constantly wearing a weird smiley mask. By the way, why are you wearing that mask? Oh yeah, a mask. That's because I'm a really shy guy. I can't talk with strangers if I'm not wearing my mask. I have mental issues. Mental problems, of course. That explains the payment in advance. What are you doing in the middle of the night at the cemetery? Me. Training, of course. We must always be ready for battle. You never know when you're going to find a ghost, a demon, or worse. It could be the Big Pie Raptor. The Big Pie Raptor? Where? Oh, so you've never heard of him. The Big Pie Raptor is a maniacal purple velociraptor that throws apple pies at unsuspecting people. It doesn't sound that threatening. <laughs> You say that now, my lad, but if one night you're all alone in a dark alley, and you perceive a shadowy reptilian figure running, and the foul stench of apple pie infects the air, you'd better not come crying to me. But I understand you. I was once like you, a reckless young man. I also didn't believe in the big pie raptor, until that sad night. I remember it as if it were yesterday. I was going to a dance party with my brand new white suit. When I saw him, it was already too late. I already had three apple pies all over me. I tried all kinds of stain removers, but nothing worked. But one day, one day I will have my revenge. Sweet, sweet revenge. Whatever you say, bub. Just calm down. About that demon I hired you to hunt for. Where is it? Oh, that. It's in our demon chest. But don't worry, it will not be bothering you again. It's locked with three locks, and each of us is guarding a different key. There's no way it can be opened without our unanimous consent. Hey, look! It's the big pie raptor! Where? Where? It's hiding inside the crypt! I just saw it! At last! You are cornered, you filthy apple pie carrying animal. Wait. Wait a minute. I've already been through this a couple of times. Walrus probably told you to tell me so that he can laugh at my disappointed face. I will not fall for that again. But I just saw it! Oh yeah? Do you have a photo, footprints, a piece of pie, or something else to prove it? No, not really. Then tell Walrus I'll not fall for that this time. I have other matters to attend to. Goodbye, and stay vigilant. Maybe I can take a bone, but forget about the skulls. They can bite me. <laughs> it's the cemetery crypt. It's too dark to see inside there, and the crypt ladder steps are too tall. Which is a terrible combination. Or a perfect combination if you're planning to throw someone through the ladder. Ah! <laughs> Evidently, I can't carry a crypt around. This area is under maintenance. Ah! <laughs> Once again, I've struck terror into the heart of the people of Darkestville. You want to kill me from a heart attack? Give me that thing. And don't you ever dare do that again.
Who would have believed that Darkestville Castle had a political agenda? A great idea. Wanna give this a try? What is it? It's our special local beer. Let me try it! Mm. Mm. Ah. This beer is too soft. It tastes almost like water. I think... He is sleeping like a baby. Let's see what we can find in his pockets. Ah, here it is. One of the keys of the demon chest. One step closer to freeing Domingo. Presto! It fits perfectly. <laughs> What do you expect? It's full of trash. Ha! In your face, dog. Are you barking? Sorry, I can't hear you. Ah, victory is so sweet. Now that I think about it, why did I want to come here in the first place? What? You don't want me to take it? I'll just take a few. Okay, just two, okay? A wide variety of hot dog sauces. Hi. Hello, Sid. How's the eagle doing going? Uh, tonight is kind of a tough night. Dan Teapot called some demon hunters. Demon hunters? I don't like them. They never buy anything. Good luck fighting them. Pedro, how is business going? Unbelievable. Is that bad or good? Bad. I ran out of my special marinara sauce. I have to replace it with the new clam ink sauce, but no one likes it. It looks like regular ink. Because that's what it is. What about your other sauces? They're just props to give the impression of variety. Neat trick, isn't it? I know, I know, I'm a genius. You don't have to say it. I am a marketing devil. Can you give me some of that ink sauce? I need it for my hot dogs, you'll see. A hot dog without any sauce isn't the same, but let's do something. I will give you all of it if you help me do some marinara sauce. <laughs> what do you need to make marinara sauce? I need something with a special touch of sophistication. Like what exactly? I don't know, something that stinks the right way. One hot dog, please. Sure, wait a minute. You don't have any money, don't you? Well, not at the moment. Sorry, Sid, I have a business to run. I can't give you a free hot dog. Do you accept evil card? Sorry, pal. Only money. Don't you have one of your special promotions? Yes. When you buy your hot dog, you get up to two free diseases. That sounds terrible. Can I at least choose them? No, they're random. But that's part of the fun. Goodbye. See you later. And remember, we are open all night. I'll take the giant mutant chicken leg. It'll be handy if I need to scratch my back. That dog won't be bothering me anymore. I prefer to keep that dog and his desire to kill me locked.
I will mark some footprints with this chicken leg. Just hang in there. Yeah. This could take some time. Ah. Presto! The chicken leg is all muddy now. I'd better discard it. Hello. What's up, Dan? Hurry! I just saw the big pie raptor. Look at his footprints. Sorry, pal, but I will not fall for... Oh my goodness. It is true. They are pointing directly to the crypt. At last, I have you cornered, you apple-scented scum. The crypt seems empty, but let me know if you see him entering there again. Doesn't need to be slippery. I only have to wait until someone walks over it. Hello. What's up, Dan? The big pie raptor is inside the crypt! I just saw him! At last! Revenge is mine! I'm truly a master of deception! <laughs> I saw it first. I found a key inside this wallet. Hey, that's exactly what I was looking for to make my marinara sauce. It smells perfectly. But please keep the secret. I don't want people to start copying my secret sauce. May I have your clam ink sauce now? Of course, I don't need it anymore. Awesome. Take it, birdie birdie. Ah, uh, now I recall. I put an explosive charge on this bench. Well, those third degree burns will teach that pigeon not to accept gifts from strangers. There was a bench. Eh, why not? Two million more of those and I can make myself a new pillow. Great. Now I have a quill and ink. It was a lot of creative work, but now the mayor has a much better agenda. Not only does he have an appointment with me, but by next Saturday, we will declare war with three different countries. I used all the ink, so I'll discard the quill. I don't think I'm going to need it anymore anyway. Ah, 
I will leave this here. Hey, you found it. Thank you, dear. I was looking for this agenda all this time. Good evening, Mrs. Johnson. Good evening, Sid. I have an appointment with the mayor right now. Oh, really? Let me check that. Oh, it's true. And according to this is indeed right now. Well, I will inform the mayor about it. Give me a minute, my dear. Mr. Mayor? Yes, I have someone here waiting to talk with you. Yes, he has an appointment for right now. It's marked as urgent. OK, I will tell him. Hello. I would... Get out! I, I, I'm expecting someone important. But I... Get out! I'll talk with you later. Hello? Hi, Dan, right? Dan Teapot? Apparently. And you are? I'm Foxy. Foxy Romero? I replied to your letters about hiring us. Ah, oh, yes, yes, of course. Obvious conclusion that I'm Dan Teapot. Well, you told me in your letters that you had a big charming smile. Oh, of course. Also, you told me you were a tall and skinny guy. Charming smile? Tall and skinny? Seems that Dan's having serious perception problems about himself. What? Nothing, nothing. Just talking to myself. What a weird-looking chest. What's inside it? There's the demon you hired us to hunt. Well, not only him. Also, all the demons that we've been hunting for years. You'll see. This is not an ordinary chest. It contains a pocket dimension in its interior. Interesting. And what if someone accidentally left the chest open and let loose all those demons? You don't have to worry about it. This chest is locked with three locks. Each Romero has a key, so the chest can't be opened without our express consent. I see. Why are you at the mayor's house? I was presenting our papers to the local authorities. We don't want any trouble with the law. And the rest of the team? Walrus is at the tavern, and Mongoose is training at the cemetery. So, hypothetically, since you're all scattered, if someone wanted to attack your team, this would be the best moment, right? I guess. So, to open that chest, you need three keys, right? May I see one? Sorry, but I cannot show you my key. It is part of our code of conduct. If the key falls in the wrong hands, it could cause a lot of trouble. How much trouble? Just imagine if someone released all the demons that are inside the chest into a little town like this. Yes! Just imagine if all those demons became the servants of their savior. And he became the Demon King. And with his new demonic army, he conquers the world! <laughs> what? Nothing, nothing. And don't you want to lift that non-cursed golden goblet? No, why? What? That was a pretty random comment. Really? I thought it was a pretty good way to follow a conversation. And why did you mention it was a non-cursed goblet? No, I didn't. Yes, you did. I did not. I was just pointing out that the goblet over there would look pretty good in your hands. And that there is no gypsy curse to be worried about. You did it again. Nope. Yes, you just told me that there is no gypsy curse to worry about. Then why are you worrying about that? <laughs> you are so weird. But it's okay, I like weird people. Just lift the goblet. I have other matters to attend to. Talk to you later. Goodbye, Dan. I don't think so. It looks like Walrus's lucky charm. He never goes out without it. Where did you find this? Um, outside the tavern? Maybe you should go out and investigate about it. Don't worry about your stuff. I'll watch over it. I cannot leave the chest. I will wait for Mongoose to come here before going to investigate. I hope everything is okay. Where did you find this? This is Mongoose's wallet. Oh, that. Well, I found it in the cemetery. 
I hope nothing happened to your friend. If I were you, I would go and investigate it. Don't worry about your stuff. I'll watch over it. You are right. Something fishy is going on. I better go investigate it. Dan, this is very important. I need you to watch over my stuff. And please don't let anyone manipulate the demon chest while I'm out. Do you understand me? This is very important. Yep, absolutely. You should not worry at all. You are doing the right thing. Goodbye. See you soon. Take your time. Of course I'm going to watch over your stuff. Oh, I can be so charming at times. Now I'd better act quickly before she returns. Let's see what we've got here. Papers, 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 and... Here it is! The last key I needed to open the chest. Don't worry, Domingo. I'm here. You're almost out. Just give me a minute to... Domingo! Here you are, buddy. I missed you. Don't worry. I'm here and everything is going to be all right from now on. Um, who are they? Oh, we are the demons of the fifth hell. I'm King Vigo, young one. Now, can you tell me where we are? Sure. Let me introduce myself. I'm Sid, the demon of Darkestville. And you are now in Darkestville. Darkestville, eh? All right, boys. Now that we're free again, let's go have some fun. We're gonna take Darkestville for ourselves and show those pesky humans who's in charge. Hey, but I've released you. You should be following my orders. <laughs> oh. Ah, nice joke, kiddo. Thanks for releasing us. I like your attitude, but I'm King Vigo. I don't follow orders. Now, let's move forward. This town isn't going to pillage itself. But... Hmm. Who would have thought that demons would be a bunch of ungrateful scoundrels? Well, the important thing is that you're all right, Domingo. Now let's go home so I can build you a new fish tank. Come on, Domingo. Follow me. Here, boy. Yeah, you're a good boy. You're pretty smart for a fish. Don't worry. I will make a brand new fish tank for you. You will love it. I'll even build a machine gun on top of it so no one can ever bother you again. Come on, buddy. Just a little bit more. You're pretty fast for a giant fish out of water. Weird. I don't recall leaving the castle door closed. Who goes there? Oh, it's you. Get off my lawn. What? What? Your lawn? What are you doing inside my castle? Get out of here. So this was your castle? Was? It is my castle. Now open up that door. Nope. I hope no one just opens the castle door. Well... Then you will hate it when I... Hey, wait a minute. Nice try. I almost fell for it. I'll sue you. Do as you wish. I have hordes of undead lawyers under my control. Open that door or I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow the castle in. I don't think so. You don't even have a real mouth. Hey, that was offensive. Thank you. Could you kindly open that door? Nope. Open, 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 open! No, 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 no. Open, 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 open! Look, one of us has to be the mature one. And it isn't going to be me. Open, 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 and open! Oh, in the name of everything that is evil! What annoyance! 
There must be some way of... Yeah, this should be the lever.